In this video, I'll look at two implementations of the basic programming language that run on the Heathkit H89 computer, Heathkit's Benton Harbor Basic and Microsoft's Basic 80 or MBasic. Basic, for beginners, all-purpose symbolic instruction code, is a high-level programming language originally created by John J. Kemeny and Thomas E. Kurtz at Dartmouth College in 1964. It was designed to be easy for beginning programmers to learn and use, typically implemented as an interpreter, which allows programs to be directly entered and executed without any need for compilation. Many programs, such as games and utilities written in BASIC, were published in books and magazines. Most early microcomputers provided a version of BASIC in ROM or on cassette tape or floppy disk. Many versions were developed by Microsoft, where BASIC was the foundation product of the company, starting with a version for the Intel 8080-based Altair and followed by many others. Some versions of BASIC were implemented independently of Microsoft, such as Apple's Integer BASIC for the Apple II written by Steve Wozniak, and the versions offered on early Texas Instruments, Atari, and BBC microcomputers. As the BASIC language was not standardized, the versions of BASIC on different computer platforms were all slightly different, even those written by Microsoft. Programs written for one version of BASIC typically require changes to run on another. When Heathkit introduced the H8 computer, it came with some software tools to allow developing programs for it. This included a front panel ROM monitor, PAM8, text editor, assembler, console debugger, and a BASIC interpreter called Benton Harbor BASIC. Written by Gordon Latwin, who also wrote the first version of Heathkit's HDOS operating system, and later became an early Microsoft employee, it was patterned after Dartmouth BASIC. Just as Dartmouth BASIC was named after the location of Dartmouth College, Benton Harbor BASIC was a reference to the city where Heathkit's headquarters in Michigan were located. It was offered in two versions, Benton Harbor BASIC and extended Benton Harbor BASIC. The former would run on an H8 or H89 computer with as little as 8K of memory, but lacked some features such as string variables. The extended version included more features, but required at least 12K or 16K, depending on the version. The initial version ran on an H8 computer as a standalone program loaded from cassette or paper tape. Later versions would run under the HDOS operating system loaded from floppy disk. One oddity of Benton Harbor BASIC was keyword autocompletion. As a keyword or command was being typed, as soon as it could be uniquely identified, the system would insert the entire word immediately. For example, after typing PR, the system would expand it to print. While this sounded like a good idea in theory, I think most users found it annoying, especially if they were good typists, and the feature was dropped in later versions. While the standard version was bundled with a computer, extended Benton Harbor BASIC was sold at additional cost, typically US $13.95, on either a 1200 baud audio cassette or punched paper tape. The version of Extended BASIC that ran under HDOS was purchased as part of the HDOS system, which also included an assembler, editor, and debugger, typically for US $150 on 5.25 or 8-inch floppy disks. Benton Harbor BASIC was similar to other BASIC implementations. Some keywords and commands were different from Microsoft BASIC. It also lacked some features of other BASICs and had some unique features of its own. Some of the key features are the following. Support for floating point real numbers from 10 to the minus 38 to 10 to the 37 with six significant digits. Integers from 0 to 65535. It can interpret numbers as Boolean types and expressions. Support for string variables up to 255 characters in length and arrays with up to eight dimensions. Variables must be a single letter or a letter followed by a number. As mentioned, Microsoft's first product was a basic interpreter for the Intel 8080-based Altair computer. Over time, they expanded it to other platforms and other microprocessors and added more functionality. The version for Intel 8080 was officially known as BASIC 80, but often just called MBASIC. The first reference I could find to Microsoft BASIC in the Heath Users Group Remark magazine was in the 1979 issue 6. The same issue talked about the upcoming port of CPM to the H8 and H89. 
Heathkit presumably recognized some of the limitations of Benton Harbor Basic and that Microsoft Basic was becoming an industry standard on microcomputers. They also needed a version of Basic for CPM as Benton Harbor Basic was tightly coupled to HDOS. Two versions were offered, one running on HDOS and one for CPM. The HDOS version sold for US $150 and CPM for $175. Some of the key features that it offered over Benton Harbor Basic were a renum command to renumber basic programs, an edit command that allows editing of program lines, both single precision, seven digits, and double precision, 16 digit floating point variables, variable names of any length, but the first two need to be unique, 16 bit integer variables, error trapping and handling, if then else statements, formatted output with print using, execution tracing facility, random file I.O., a swap command to swap two variables, and many math and string functions. The CPM and HDOS versions were essentially identical. Let's take a look at extended Benton Harbor Basic running on HDOS 3. It's invoked as basic. I'll enter a small basic program that prints the square roots of the numbers from 1 to 100. We can list it. and run it. Note that math is done with six digits of precision. Now let me demonstrate a few of the commands. We can save the current program to disk. This fails if the file already exists. To save over an existing file, we need to use the replace command. We can delete the program in memory with scratch. and we can load it from disk using the old command. I don't know why they didn't call it load like most other versions of BASIC. Deleting a file from disk is done using the unsave command. Some other commands unique to Benton Harbor BASIC are build, which will automatically prompt to enter new program line numbers. Free shows memory usage. Control is a catch-all command that does a number of unrelated things depending on the argument passed to it. Control 0 is used to set a line number of basic to call when the control B character is typed. Control 1 sets the number of digits before exponential format is used. Control 2 controls the H8 front panel LEDs. It doesn't have any effect on the H89. Control 3 sets the width of print zone columns, and Control 4 controls the state of the HDOS operating system overlays, and that applies to HDOS 2 only. The freeze and unfreeze commands will save and restore the entire state of BASIC and the running program to a disk file. Lock and unlock will protect or unprotect your program by preventing you from executing the build, buy, chain, unfreeze, delete, run, scratch, and clear command mode statements. It also prevents the entry or deletion of program text. Finally, the buy command returns to HDOS after confirming.
Now let's take a look at Microsoft's Basic AD or MBasic running under HDOS. It works the same under CPM. Let's enter and run the same demo as before. It runs without changes. By default, it uses single precision math like Benton Harbor Basic. By adding a pound sign suffix to a variable, we can indicate that we want to use double precision math. We now get 16 digits of precision at some reduction in speed. Saving a program to disk is done with the save command. We erase the program in memory using new. And we can load it back from disk using load. You can delete a file using the kill command. Unlike with Benton Harbor Basic, we can get a disk directory from Basic. There are many additional commands and functions in Basic 80 which you can look up in the documentation. Finally, we exit basic using the system command. Early versions of Benton Harbor Basic were not known for speed, something that was highlighted in reviews. Let's try a couple of simple benchmarks to compare the performance of Benton Harbor Basic with Microsoft Basic. This program does some floating point math with square root, sine, and cosine functions. Under Benton Harbor Basic, it took 33 seconds to run. Microsoft Basic runs it in 40 seconds. If we use double precision math, Microsoft Basic takes 71 seconds. I suspect that the performance of this program is mostly determined by the speed of output to the screen. Back in the 1970s, David All of Creative Computing Magazine suggested this program for benchmarking basic interpreters. Under Benton Harbor Basic, it took 87 seconds to run, and Microsoft Basic took 126 seconds. So under my two not very scientific benchmarks, Benton Harbor Basic was faster than Microsoft Basic. There were some other versions of Basic that ran on the Heathkit H89, including the free Tiny Basic and some that ran under CPM, but Benton Harbor Basic and Microsoft's MBasic were the most popular. Over time, MBasic became more popular than Benton Harbor Basic as it was more functional, standardized, and many users had moved from HDOS to CPM where only MBasic was available. As well as their kits, Heathkit was known for their training courses, a business which continued even after they exited the kit business. This included courses on BASIC, both for Benton Harbor Basic and Microsoft Basic. BASIC is no longer considered a suitable language for teaching programming as it lacks some modern programming language features and can encourage bad habits. But it can still be fun to run BASIC programs for nostalgia purposes. It was the first programming language that I learned and back in the day I played many games that I either wrote myself or entered from books or magazines.